The seventh annual Peace Conference held at Golden West College through its Peace Studies program presents a forum that stretches across a spectrum of the subject. Each year, the Peace Prize is given to a community member at the day-long conference. Here's Megan Delglaze. Today's recipient of the Peace Prize is Jack Shaw, founder of the Oakview Renewal Partnership. Fran, why did you choose Jack Shaw for this award? Uh, it was not very difficult to pick Jack Shaw as, as uh, someone who has impacted the community so tremendously. Uh, every year we look for that person who has impacted the community, whether globally or local community that way. And uh, seeing what the tremendous job he has done with Oakview, uh, it was not really a difficult job to, to select him. So what I'm getting out of this conference is just that, that, that individual action, you know, that, we're, yes. that we generate peace by our being and then it makes a difference everywhere we go. And Jack Shaw has done that at a local level to a more dynamic scale. He's really yes. affected a whole community and that's been really inspiring in Huntington Beach. Absolutely. And the words that come to mind are empowerment. The community begins to feel that they have control over their own destiny. How do you feel about receiving this award this year? Well, I'm both um, honored and very surprised um, I'm certainly honored to be here and I'm pleased to meet everyone here and surprised because I never envisioned myself as being um, honored by a peace conference. Really, that's interesting. It's very humble of you to say, um, but the work that you're doing in Oakview is, is changing a lot of lives. How, do you see the, the, the bridge between peace and the work that you're doing? Oh, well, I do now. Um, certainly. The um, idea of community empowerment, having the residents be uh, safe and living in a peaceful environment is certainly our goal. So thank you, Jack, for all the work that you're doing. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you. This has been a wonderful phase of my life, and I appreciate everybody who has made it possible. Nobody does anything alone. And I've had wonderful support from the community. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Mary. Okay. And that was Jack Shaw, founder of the Oakview Renewal Partnership. In six months, I had undergone a profound transformation. Standing with two women who have worked on an almost daily basis with Jack Shaw, um, they have been really active in the El Viento Foundation. Um, and it's been an extraordinary contribution to our community. Um, what's it been like working with Jack Shaw? Well, Jack is an inspirational leader. Um, he is somebody that is a mentor in my life, and he's somebody that's a mentor in our community. Um, he's, his actions, uh, he speaks, and then he puts those words into action. And that's the kind of person that he is. So he's been, um, he's been a member of the Oakview community for 17 years, starting with El Viento. And now we've seen our students go off to college, so he's seen his organization come full circle. That's great. How, Colleen, how about you? Oh, Jack has been such an inspiration. Um, when I first started with El Viento, and I knew about Jack. So he has this very uh, wide appeal in Orange County of being this great person who has done so many things. And to follow in his footsteps mm -hmm. has been just an inspiration for me. It's almost like taking a wisdom of the mind and bringing a wisdom mm -hmm. of the heart into it. So it's really neat to see the synergistic practices that have been happening with the different organizations and all the work that he's done. Right. Um, and thank you for all the work that you're doing. I know you're going to be transitioning on. We wish you great luck. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. And thanks for all the great work that you've been doing. And Fran, what do you hope people take away from today's event? I think uh, if people, they can take away that each and every one of us could be a peace builder, mm -hmm. um, I think we have accomplished our intention that, you know, we are not waiting for anybody else to do this. Uh, it is about me and what am I going to do, what's, what are my commitments and uh, what are my intentions and what was my, the purpose of my life. And, um, you know, those are the important things that people, questions that people would ask themselves and uh, knowing in their heart that everybody is a peace builder and uh, they are empowered by that, that message that I am a peace builder. Great. Thank Thanks, Fran, for the, the possibility that you're generating today for peace Thank and just for so the vision much. that you're holding for the community. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Great. Thank okay, you. and that's Fran Farouz with Golden West College. There's an old Chinese proverb that states, when there's peace in the home, there will be peace in the street. When there's peace in the street, there will be peace in the neighborhood. When there's peace in the neighborhood, there will be peace in the nation.
Today we got to see all those levels come together. We saw students and civic leaders and also organizations that are working actively for peace in Orange County. Uh, peace does begin right now and right here with how we are and how we behave and how we raise our families and how we treat our coworkers. Today's Peace Conference was a wild success because it brought together all these people and we got to see again how all of our individual actions uh, make up a collective reality. Today's Golden West College Peace Conference was um, a very powerful event and we look forward to seeing you here next year. For Surf City Highlights, this is Megan Douglas.